What's up YouTube, Donald Quartz here today, coming back at you again for a second time in one day with another video. Um, so I just finished assembling my uh, my paint booth here. This is my do-it-yourself paint booth. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the garage here. Um, and I just finished uh, tacking up this drop sheeting here as kind of like an, uh, an enclosure for my painting area. So uh, just so you can see here, this is the garage door and uh, a few feet in, maybe like 10 feet, no. Maybe like six, seven feet in, we got the uh, we got the uh, drop sheeting, and basically I just uh, wherever I, I uh, strung it up here. Maybe let me get a spot that there's no uh, no light right behind because it's hard to see. So anywhere where I nailed it up, I just put a piece of tape over the drop sheeting first, and then I put the nail through uh, just because I wanted to uh, give the uh, drop sheeting a little extra support because it is a little thin. So as you can see, I covered pretty much. Uh, 360 degrees all the way around. I just got to seal up uh, a couple spots like right here. I'm going to leave this open so that I can bring the car in all right and then I'm going to seal it up after. But uh, uh, after I did that, I just ran one uh, sheet all the way across the roof from the front all the way to the back and then it comes down uh, a little extra. That's just excess. I might cut that off and use it if I need to. But uh, pretty much I just wanted to cover up the lights. Don't really want to get paint all over the lights. Might, might need to uh, put an extra little piece over there. But uh, essentially, uh, this is going to be uh, the best uh, dust protection I can get uh, going on in here. So, um, so yeah, basically, that's, that's pretty much it for the DIY uh, paint booth. Um, also, uh, one last thing here. We got the fan hooked up. As you can see, the air comes in right here on the side, on the inside of this enclosure. And then it gets pumped out over here on the other side of the enclosure and that's exactly what we want. We want the extra paint and all that coming out of the enclosure if we can. We don't really want uh, all that getting uh, stuck up in here or landing on uh, stuff in here that we don't really want it on. So anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm, I'm going to try and set up another uh, fan or at least a ventilation tube uh, bringing fresh air in here. Although. Uh, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. So anyway, uh, I should start painting here in another day or two, but I just wanted to uh, show everybody what my progress was and pretty much what I did here to set this up. Uh, super, super simple. Took me about uh, half an hour on my own to get all this up. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's uh, that's really all there is. All I did was buy the, uh, the cheapest uh, polyethylene film uh, drop sheeting at Rona, 10 bucks a pack. Uh, they had a couple of different... Uh, thicker gauges, but I figured this stuff would be fine. Um, I noticed that at uh, Canadian Tire, they also had some drop sheeting there, but it was a lot thinner. It was like those uh, the bags you get at the grocery store to put your vegetables in. It was way too thin. So this stuff is perfect. Um, so like I said, next day or two, I'm going to get painting. Uh, but got a bunch of really awesome uh, materials here that I'm working with. Uh, I did a video uh, earlier today uh, that I was talking about earlier uh, of all the different equipment that I'm going to be using, things like this things like this um, but yeah so if you want to do a DIY paint uh, and you want to know the stuff that you're gonna need and like the type of uh, environment you're gonna need to be doing it in check out my other videos and obviously I already checked out this one so good on you for that um, and more videos to come as soon as I start painting I'm gonna do some paint videos so keep tuned